Well, school children treated like prisoners. That's the theory of a documentary exposing what it describes as fascist ideals in education. The film, strikingly titled The War on Kids, claims the first step to fix the broken school system is to give children back their freedoms. Take a look. They're adding, you know, enforcement officers on their campuses who are intervening instead of principals and arresting kids and taking them away. Parents actually have been taught to believe that if their child's misbehaving, it's not a discipline problem, it's a biochemical problem. Joining me now is Kevin Soling. He is the director of The War on Kids and Tracy Bailey with the Association of American Educators. Kevin, fascinating. And I must say, I watched this over the weekend. Um, I, the reviews have been quite stunning. The New York Times said, arranged in sections that range from merely interesting to downright horrifying, this provocative documentary suggests a system regulated by fear and motivated by the desire to control. Sunning harsh words. Where do you believe we went wrong in this educational system of ours? Uh, well, the problem is from the very inception. Uh, schooling actually was taken from a Prussian model that was a military model designed to make uh, obedient, docile so, uh, uh, students who would become good soldiers. And then uh, that model was transformed to fit the uh, Industrial Revolution, where children were then trained to endure uh, boredom so that they could work in the factories. And today, with the growing uh, industrial prison complex, uh, we see uh, high Hyper surveillance in school, uh, police officers in school to basically train kids to become prisoners to some degree. Hmm. Tracy, I know a lot of young teachers right out of college who not only work in schools where they have their own police forces, but in some places their own fire departments. Hmm. Control is such an issue. So if you look at this lack of innovation and the lack of a model that works across the country and the fact that charter schools are popping up everywhere, what's the first step to try to fix the pieces that are broken? Well, I think one thing that we need to understand is that the vast majority of these safety and security procedures, security cameras, those are used in private daycare centers, in hospitals and universities. We don't think that that's intrusive. We think that's to help find out which children are following the rules and which children are being disruptive or being threatened. But just a generation ago, we didn't have all of those things. That's true, but that's also true in hospitals, is that we didn't have some of the safety and security procedures in maternity wards to keep track of infants. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some things in Kevin's documentary that we agree with. The potential over-medication over of children, uh, too many children perhaps on Ritalin, but that's a decision that parents are making with physicians. That's not something that, that educators do. Kevin, are we looking at a system that has been unwilling to change with the norms of society? The fact that we have a nine-month educational system and we're no longer an agrarian society. The fact that we have a one-size-fits-all for children of all different backgrounds. The idea that a college education is necessarily the be-all and end-all for every child. All of those things seem to me to, be, to need to be addressed. Well, it, it depends on what you consider the intent of public education to be. If, the, if public education is designed to create self-actualized human beings who can think critically, then it's failed. But I think education has, or public education has been remarkably successful at uh, providing individuals to cope with American society right now. I, I think the, the largest uh, percentage of, of people employed are clerks at Walmart. And uh, in, in order to endure that kind of uh, condition, Conditions, you, you need a, a situation where people are trained to endure tedium and, and boredom. You're and, talking and about school, dehumanization. Uh, of, of sorts, yes. Well, one of the most striking things is when you compare a prison to uh, a school, and in fact, the prison, the minimum security prison, looks like it's a better deal than the school in New Jersey. It's uh, it's a stunning it's a stunning documentary, the war on kids, really worth looking at. Kevin, thank you so much. Tracy, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, you guys.